Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube's history. This is the dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with a major backstage update as it concerns the future, the presentation of the WWE Network, a new pricing plan perhaps on the horizon. Well, there is major speculation coming from backstage that the WWE is expected, expected, to make a groundbreaking announcement concerning the WWE Network, its content, its future in the coming weeks. It's also expected that WWE will also announce the newest subscriber number amount to the WWE Network for only $9.99. The pricing plan, and it's rumored that the subscriber number has risen now that the network is available in other countries. However, some people have said it's a limited version of the network. So are you kidding me? So you're telling me that the WWE Network is a watered-down version in other countries and continents? What a loss. It will also be interesting to see if many people renewed their WWE Network subscription due to the WWE's lackluster booking of Raw over the last several months. Well, we know there's been a lot of criticism of Raw, but I think Raw actually picked up last week, but that's just my opinion. For what it's worth, it's also rumored that WWE will address the current problems and issues that people have been having with the WWE Network and its streams, uh, especially the pay-per-view content. Well, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's a major update on the WWE Network. Now, have you had any problems with the network and its streams? For me, when I watch the pay-per-views on the network, I gotta say, sometimes uh, the stream will be slow. Sometimes it will be very pixelated. Sometimes it will shut off on me. And that can be very, um, can get me very mad. It can get me very angry. But most importantly of all, it's, it's very annoying. And I think that's one of the things that the WWE still needs to work on is its stream. Now, it's funny because if I watch main event or if I watch Saturday night's main event or if I watch NXT on the network, it hardly freezes. There's not really many errors with it. But as soon as I watch a pay-per-view, and it's funny because it always happens on the main event. It's fine until the main event. Just like at SummerSlam and Night of Champions, as soon as the main event came on, that's when the WWE Network started to screw up. Because I think that's when most people start watching it more. And I, I listen, I know the su subscriber rate. I know there's a lot of people on there. I know it's tough to keep up. But the WWE needs to address these kind of issues. So what I'm looking for right now is your comments and your opinions. And what have you thought about the WWE Network up to this point? Is there enough content? Do they need to add more content? Do you think they should upload Raw and SmackDown to the network uh, if you've missed the current episode of Raw or SmackDown? Like I said, up to this point, I give the WWE Network 3.5 out of 5 stars because there is still a lot the WWE needs to address. There's still more content that needs to be added. The WWE Network is evolving. It's, it's, it's you know, even though it just started this year, it's still green. It has a lot of things it needs to uh, address. And the WWE Network, like I said, it, it's evolving. It's new. It's still something groundbreaking to, to their company. So, um, you know, the WWE Network, I'm sure it will grow. It will expand. Uh, it just takes time. So, I hope the WWE Network does do what it needs to do. And it, and it addresses the pay-per-view issues. Your comments, your opinions on the WWE Network. Let's just hope that they don't change the current pricing plan. Because I don't think many people would buy it if it were $20 or even $15. Now with the way the WWE's thrown up uh, Raws and SmackDowns being lackluster and mediocre. Subscribe.